The Trailer Talks is sponsored by Imaging DNA. The core of the conversation is the image at imagingdna.com. Ever wonder what it takes to live a life creatively? So do we. That's why we're here, to find out what clever people do to succeed in the arts, business, and education. I'm Cecily Course, and this is The Trailer Talks. We're interviewing artists and educators, musicians, and thought leaders at home and on the road. So come on, it's going to be a good trip. Hey, welcome to the trailer. Come on in. Today, we're earning our explicit tag on iTunes with John Ellerick, a filmmaker from Los Angeles. Consider yourselves warned. Your Volkswagen stuff's really cool. Oh yeah, yeah. That's that's uh, that was the first job I did in LA. I'd been here for like maybe a month, and I'm like, oh yeah, no, I can totally do that. Like, totally sounds good. And they're like, how much would you charge for something like this? And I'm like, I was like, oh my god, I don't. I'm like, well, let me get back to you and crunch the numbers. <laughs> and f totally panicked and flew my friend from college, Chris. He brought all the equipment on a plane that that you know left left this the state i mean the equipment was not shouldn't have left the state and did this thing and i show up in my little hyundai and they're like oh you didn't get a rental car and i'm like well you know what i mean <laughs> and the guy's just kind of like oh god like rolling his eyes like what did we do and then something hit me and i just turned into this like asshole and i'm like no we got to do this this and they like started to listen and so i i just became this like bigger deal than I really was. So tell me about your journey thus far. So oh, um, I love that little that little snippet. Yeah, that was that was 22. Um, yeah, I grew up in Ohio and uh, I uh, I think when I was young I decided that I wanted to make films, but I didn't really know what that entailed. Um, so I was like, oh, you know, I'll just someday I'll move to Los Angeles. Um, and then I found out, you know, about you should go to film school. So I went to film school, and uh, so I moved from uh, from Pittsburgh, where I went to school, to L.A., didn't know anyone, and uh, worked the shittiest jobs in the world. Like, I had, like, seven different resumes for, like, a PA, a grip, a gaffer, a DP, an editor, and I'd send, like, 50 out a day and um, lie my, lied my ass off, and... Uh, finally got into post-production and uh, I liked it because you could work you could work all day and then you could go out and you wouldn't have to go home and shower you know I started editing and then from that uh, really on YouTube um, I, I hadn't really done much since I've been out here I made like a couple spec commercials but uh, you know and wrote some stuff but I didn't really do anything until um, really until Apple came out with the iPad and they, uh, they had that real pompous promo so I was like this thing is you know a glorified iPod touch and they're th you know they're, they've made it sound like they've invented this you know thing that cures cancer so I was like I should make fun of this so I did when something exceeds your ability to understand how it works it kind of becomes magical and that's exactly what the iPod touch is I didn't mean to say iPod Touch. And, uh, and that took off, and um, so I made another one, and then that took off. iPhone 4 is the most groundbreaking product we've ever invented, and has gone on to become the number one smartphone in the world. So we had this challenge. How do you improve upon something that's already so extraordinary? You don't. You appease to the stockholders by limiting production and design overhead. Throw in a processor that you've already invented for another product. Update the camera, slap an S on the box, and you're good to go. Oh. Have some robotic bitch take your lunch order. And then I was like, oh, this is great. Like, you know, I started to have a little bit of a following, and uh, I'm like, I'll, I'll make something else. I didn't really know much about how things traveled, or I still really don't. Um, but, uh, yeah, they just kind of took off, so I was fortunate enough that I had a video that, like, that did all right, and uh, so then I kept making stuff. I knew that I wanted to try to do things regularly, or more consistently, rather. Um, so all it took was one U.S. Airways flight, and uh, the first gentleman's rant was born. Flying is fucking 
awful, especially if you're flying U.S. Air. It, in 2011, I just said I'll, I would make a video every week till the end of the year. Mm -hmm. That was in September, just as an experiment, and, and then it kind of took off. And uh, yeah. So did it start out with just you doing the rant? When did the other guys come along? Oh no, no, they. Uh, they they were carefully selected from uh, just basically the uh, the uh, Apple promos. I'd used various people, and um, you know I thought they were really funny. Like each of them had a you know Roger brought like a kind of you know an older voice. You're a hipster, not a hippie. <laughs> Trayvon, it was it was great. Like he's like the whitest black person I've ever met. <laughs> Uh, but he is black. Um, did you always know that you were going to be in film when you talked about just like, did you well, know from being a little kid? I, I figured it out probably around 1995. Uh, <laughs> that That's when I knew I wanted to make movies. Um, and uh, yeah, so uh, around that point I was, I was like, oh, you know, I want to do this. Like it would be cool to uh, be able to like, you know, affect people on a, on a level like that. So, what was last year's pinch me moment? Pinch me moment. Um, I don't think I have ever had a pinch me. Uh, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> last year, two thousand twelve, my pinch me moment. Probably when I went to Bruges, uh, and I'd never been, and everybody had talked about it. And it's the prettiest place on earth. Mm -hmm. It's the kind of place that's so pretty you want to fight people. That's, yeah, I guess that's my pinch me moment. Like I said, in terms of like what I do, I don't take myself seriously enough to have anything like that. <laughs> What's the hardest part about what you do? Writing. I hate writing so much. God, I hate it. Uh, it it's so annoying to have to write. Um, because, because I'm the kind of person that wants immediate validation. And I'll have an idea that I think's funny, mm -hmm. so I'll say it to someone, or I'll half jot it down, and then I'll I'll immediately want to show it to them and be like, you know, and they're like, I don't know what this is, and <laughs> then I get down and I'm like, well, this is either stupid or you don't know what the hell you're talking about. <laughs> so for me, it's 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 writing. I, I hate writing so much. Um, that would that would definitely I would say that that's the hardest part. Where do you get your inf inspiration from? life uh there are so many things that annoy me um <laughs> ladies if you're gonna take the time to dress up for new year's make sure you don't drink too much you know that expression he could f up a cup of coffee of course i'm okay to drive i'm drinking light beer i have a wake-up call for you this hotel is awful you can't wear cowboy boots a polo and a f flannel so what what's the one thing that you think everybody should know about living a creative life um, the one thing people should know, I would say, uh, you can't let yourself get in your way, uh, because you'll be your biggest obstacle. Um, so if you want to do something, you really, you really have to, you know, you just have to do it. Like you might talk about it forever, but you have to do it like you'll be your biggest hurdle your biggest obstacle the biggest wall to overcome and if you can do that like anyone else who says you can't do anything you know they don't know shit like so long as you know it that's the most important person to know that you know when i told people i was going to film school like i grew up in a small town and they're like what <laughs> film school like what about an accounting accounting degree or you know a business degree and I had tons of people like say to my face and behind my back like there's no way you'll be able to make a career you know I chose a career that like had no like when I got my degree it wasn't like here now go make films it's like here you're gonna fucking be poor for a long time <laughs> and things are gonna be tough and you know ramen noodles are good <laughs> you're gonna know that for a while hope you like water um so yeah i would say as long as you is you know yourself that's that's the most important thing yeah if you're gonna be if you're gonna do something you just gotta do it
When you're single, after a while, all you want is your commitment. I hate that I did this. Make sure I never do this again. <laughs> My life was just a happy accident. Like it's happened the way that it was supposed to or it wasn't like, um, so, so nothing was ever, I don't really have plans. Like I have no idea what I'm gonna do next Thursday. Oh, I was gonna ask you, do you set goals for yourself or, or do you just? I feel like if you set goals, the minute you do start doing that, like that can be good and bad because if you set a goal and you don't reach it, which let's be honest, there's a great chance you won't, like that can be devastating. And like, again, you can be your worst enemy. So, you know, if you set these goals and then you don't meet them, you might give up. So what's the most fun part of your work? Cause it sounds like it's all fun, except for uh, the writing. <laughs> I mean, the writing, it, it, it can be fun. Um, I, I would say the most fun part for me is the best part of any of this is like the, the gratification of like knowing that people enjoyed what you what you did. Mm -hmm. Like I have fun filming stuff. I have fun like directing and like making things ridiculous and embellishing on things. And, and uh, but the best part is like you know if someone leaves a comment you know and you know that they like it or it's so sweet if someone like uploads a video and like you know does something like that or takes the time to write you an email. Like, those are the things that make it rewarding. Do you have any questions? Um, what's next? What is next? Ooh. Yeah, what's next? What's next? Um, Other than the garbage truck. <laughs> the planes to the garbage trucks. Guys aren't... And that's what's next. Now, um, I don't know. I uh, I would like to. Uh, I mean, I would like to make a movie. Um, I, I have ideas for movies eventually. Um, I would like to have a television show. I would like to. I'm writing a book. Uh, so yeah, I mean, it just what's next? I don't know. You're writing like, a I, book? Yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah. Can you tell about it? Well, it's a. Uh, I don't want to tell the name because it's Do too, tell. it's too perfect, the name's too perfect. It's just a bunch of essays about like relationships and um, funny stories that have happened in my life. And So you're actually part of like the YouTube fame club. I guess. You are. <laughs> I guess. I, I don't know. There are people that have much greater success than me. Do you get recognized on the street? I have, you know, I have. Um, and it's always, it's, I, I have, I, I don't know how to. I don't, again, I don't take myself seriously, so like, when people, the first time someone recognized me, I was at the Grove, and I was with Will, they mm -hmm. didn't recognize Will, but they recognized me, and the guy was so sweet, we were outside at one of those cafe things, um, right when you walk in, I didn't know what to do, I, I invited him to have a drink with us, <laughs> so he like sat down and he's having a drink, I like, because I panic, like I don't take myself seriously. Mm -hmm. I'm yeah. just some douchebag that <laughs> complains. <laughs> On camera, and it's funny. Yeah, well, that's that's to be determined. <laughs> I think you got enough likes to yeah, be assured. Well, Definitely. So, thanks, what, for, thanks for coming out. Yeah, no, this is great. This is a lot of fun. That was a peek inside of John's life and journey. You can find out more about John on Twitter and at his website, jleproductions.com. And you can dive into the gentleman's rant on YouTube. Our sponsor rocks the web at imagingdna.com. And you can find us at thetrailertalks.com on iTunes and YouTube. Sorry about the, all the F-bombs, guys. We're going to try to clean it up next week. They found me. For real, guys? You guys are making this take longer. Seriously. All of our, what do I miss? Are there any questions about aviation you'd like to cover? We've <laughs> gotten every version of Howard Hughes. We have. Okay.